Turkish cargo ship hit by Russian missile strike. A Turkish general cargo vessel that was stranded in Ukraine since the beginning of the war about two years ago is now the last victim. The Turkish media has reportedly confirmed that the vessel was impaired in the most recent assault on the Kherson region by Russia. Its owner reported that on February the 27th, two Russian missiles simultaneously hit the starboard side of the ship standing at the berth. The cargo ship has tilted to starboard and is being kept from flooding by mooring ropes. There is no information yet about the number of crew on board. The ship arrived at the port on February the 22nd, 2022 and cannot leave it due to the full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine. Efforts to have the vessel released became unfruitful as Kherson wasn't part of the grain deal or the Ukraine-based corridor. It belongs to the Kuroglu Denisilik company which has an office in Istanbul. According to her representative, it is only a matter of time before the mooring cables break and the ship sinks. Kuruglu 3 was built in 1990, has a length of 109 meters, a width of 16 meters, and a dead weight of 7,630 tons. A spokesperson on behalf of the Ship Owners and the Operators Association informed the Turkish media that they believed 60 foreign flagged vessels were stranded at Ukrainian ports. A few of the vessels stranded in Ukraine could access the corridor established in August last year and departed. However, the ones beyond the primary three ports could not leave. Risk of Russian tactical nuclear strike higher than thought. Russia's threshold for using shorter range tactical nuclear weapons may be lower than defense experts in the West believe. The Financial Times has claimed cited purported Russian military documents. The materials which were allegedly presentations for Russian naval officers, discussed operating principles for the use of nuclear weapons, the Financial Times reported. They were supposedly produced between 2008 and 2014 and shared with the British outlet by Western sources. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told the newspaper that Russia strongly doubts the authenticity of the documents. Moscow's military doctrine allows for the deployment of nuclear weapons in retaliation to a first strike against it or its allies or in situations where Russian statehood is threatened. Senior officials, including President Vladimir Putin, have drawn attention to the country's nuclear arsenal amid the Ukraine conflict. The US and its allies have accused the Russian leader of nuclear blackmail, although Moscow has rejected that allegation. The criteria for the use of nuclear weapons in the documents reviewed by the FT included losses by Russian forces that would irrevocably lead to their failure to stop major enemy aggression and a critical situation for the state security of Russia. The destruction of 20% of Russia's strategic missile submarines, 30% of nuclear-powered attack submarines, or a simultaneous hit on main and reserve coastal command centers were cited as specific examples. The U.S. struck Houthi cruise missiles and drones in Yemen. The U.S. has launched a series of strikes against Houthi cruise missiles and surface drones in Yemen, according to the U.S. Central Command. The U.S. Central Command CENTCOM forces conducted seven self-defense strikes against four Houthi unmanned surface vessels and seven mobile anti-ship cruise missiles that were prepared to launch against ships in the Red Sea, the U.S. Central Command said. It is reported that the U.S. military detected these missiles and unmanned surface vessels in Houthi-controlled areas of Yemen and determined they presented an imminent threat to U.S. Navy ships and merchant vessels in the region. These actions will protect freedom of navigation and make international waters safer and more secure for U.S. Navy and merchant vessels. Since November of last year, there have been ongoing attacks by Yemeni Houthis on trade ships in the Red Sea, often associated with Israel. In January, the terrorist group launched its most significant attack. The U.S. and British military repelled an attack in the Red Sea in early January. At the beginning of January, the U.S. and Britain conducted powerful strikes against Houthi-related targets in Yemen. This was in response to the constant attacks by the Houthis on civilian ships in the Red Sea. On January the 28th, a Houthi drone in the Red Sea attacked a British military ship, and the next day, the Yemeni Houthis claimed to have attacked an American destroyer. However, the Pentagon refuted the militant's claim. 
Also, on February the 6th, it was reported that a British cargo ship was attacked by the Houthis in the Red Sea.